Okay, this video is to help people connect their MySQL Workbench graphical user interface to their GORM IDE container. Lots of people don't like to use the MySQL command line, so it's easy to understand why people might want to use the graphical user interface over the command line. Uh, it's a pretty easy process, but you, you do have to understand that um, the container has to be running for you get in order for you to get the information that you need to put into the MySQL Workbench connection um, module. Uh, and it'll change every time you start up your container. So all you'll have to do is update your your connection on your MySQL Workbench. So let's just get into it. I understand I'm not a professional. I'm, I'm not very good at this, but I'll try to convey as much useful information as I can and, uh, and help. Um, where I can. So let's bring up uh, the workbench and uh, what we'll have to do is create a new connection and we can just click on this box right here and give your connection a name. And I'm just going to call it GORM IDE because it doesn't need to be anything special and the connection method um, since we're going to connect remote through what's called Secure Shell, also known as SSH, we're not going to use the standard TCP IP connection method. We're going to use the standard TCP IP over SSH. As you can see, that changed this whole box. So what, what we're going to have to get is information from our, from our GORM container that gives us the host name and the port name that we're going to communicate over with SSH. The username is going to be root. For, for GORM, it's in the Udemy classes that, that we use. The username is always going to be root. And then we'll have to get information from the container for the password. And I'm about to show you that right now. So to get our host name and, and port that we're going to have to use, let's switch over to the container. As you can see, I've got a container up and running already. And all I really need to do is find the container information. So let's go over here to, I mean, the SSH information. So let's go over here to this container menu. We'll click on that and then click on the SSH configuration. So you can see the format of this um, SSH command. So if you were to use a command line and enter in this command line, I mean, enter in this command, uh, you would be able to connect your form terminal through something like Windows. Uh, PowerShell or Windows command prompt, uh, git bash, or if you're on a Mac, you could do it through a terminal. Um, so what we really need is this information right here is the is the host name. This information is the host. And it, I'll come back to this in a second where we have to generate a password for the MySQL um, workbench connection. Right now, let's just go ahead and copy this information, bring back up our um, connection for um, MySQL, or I mean the workbench, and we're going to paste this whole command line into the SSH hostname field. Now we don't need all that information. We really only need the IP address, which is this part here, and we need this port. So what we're going to do is we're going to just cut this port number out, and then we're going to add a colon to the end of the IP address, and then we're going to we're going to paste the port number there. Now everything, <coughs> excuse me, everything to the left of the IP address is not needed anymore. So there is your host name. Uh, as you can see, it's consistent with the command uh, on the container information. So we're going to change this SSH username to root because all the username for a GORM container is root. Now we have to come back over here and get a password. So let's generate a password by going back to our container, clicking the generate button, and then here's our password, and we're just going to copy it. We're going to bring back up the connection, and we're going to store the password in the vault. So we're going to right click and paste it and click OK. Now everything else here is what would you would normally use if you're connecting locally. To 
um, if you're inside of GORM for the MySQL uh, server. So you don't really need to change any of this. Um, I think for since we normally use localhost, let's just go ahead and change this to localhost. And uh, most uh, usernames for MySQL and GORM are root, and they don't have a password. So the password's empty, so we don't need to worry about password. But at this point, we're ready to test our connection to see if we can actually connect to the containers. So let's just check and see. Oh, wait. No, I did store the password already. So let's test it. All right, so what it comes up with is it says it can't connect to the SSH tunnel and it, because it doesn't know, it doesn't trust the authenticity of the host. So it gives you this server key fingerprint and you say, oh, you look at all that and you say, what in the world is that? Well, don't worry about it. Just click OK because that's normal for SSH. A communication protocol. We'll click OK. And as you can see, we successfully made the connection um, to the database. So now we're ready to go ahead and uh, connect if we want to. So we can click OK. We've got our connection set up. And let's just go ahead and click on the um, connection. And we'll, we will connect to the, to the server. So now Pardon me. As you can see, these are the databases in my container, and I can show you that by coming over here, and we'll just uh, whoops, gotta type it right. Let's scroll up a little bit, and you can see these are the databases in my container, and let's go back to workbench and you can see that these are the these are the databases as well so it doesn't show the system uh, databases like MySQL and performance schema and information schema because I don't have the permission set on this particular um, connection to where you can see those but as you can see I'm connected um, and if I want to write a query if I, I'll just double click that so it, that in effect uses the Bob test um, database and I'm just going to select all the rows from the cats table and let's see what happens oops I haven't oh I have to put from in there now there we go sorry about all those missteps but that's basically uh, the way to go about it um, now, one thing to remember is this SSH information right here is going to change, and so is this password, every time you stop and restart your container. So every time you restart your container, you'll have to go back up here, go to the container menu, go to the SSH configuration section, and get, get your new host name and port information and password. And insert it into your existing MySQL workbench connection, you'll be good to go. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, leave comments uh, where I can improve it, and not because I can always remake it again. As I said, I'm not a professional. I do the best I can with limited talent. So enjoy.